We're going to see Falco Aegis here. No Rob from Zomba. Very interesting. Maybe just, you know, taking his chance at a local to try out some new characters, but... Either way, Andromeda, very notable Falco player here, and I mean, as much as this matchup could definitely be hard for Falco, Falco, very hard hitting character with really good edge guarding, which is something that uh, Aegis notably struggles with. But you know, Zomba obviously really good at other characters, really good at Lucina, has like Game & Watch, other other characters like that, so we're going to see these dash attacks and this, da this down smash too. I'm just going to go for the downer timing here. Really easy downer there from Pyra. Firebird is such an easily explodable recovery. Nice back here. Andromeda hasn't really gotten anything started yet, though. Only 58%, even though he, they've won a couple of neutral interactions already. Let's see, roll in, and Zomba just waiting so patiently. Really flexing his experience here. Back air, back air. Doesn't grip an uppy, though. Up tilt out of shield. Let's see, and the getup attack. Zomba just showing full control over this uh, this game already. Nice shine, little cute extension there from Andromeda. F smash, not punished by Pyro, who's far out of shield, notably isn't good enough to punish that. Up to up air! Not great DI from Zomba, actually. Got hit by the top laser, which is something that is one of like the easy things to look out for against Falco. But this juggle situation is still hurting. Back air safe on shield. Let's see, and Andromeda just retreating and throwing some lasers here, realizing that maybe they need to play a little slower. Up to up air, F air, and now let's see. Goes for a grab, but that was a really greedy grab. It's out of the percent of Pyro down air comboing though, which is really good for Andromeda, because the down air won't actually kill on stage anymore. But the side beyond shield punished by the up tilt out of shield, and the neutral B to catch it to jump up over the stage, and the forward air edge guard. Rare to see myth or forward air kill, but we see it here. Back throw goes for a dash attack down tilt down tilt up or nair. Nice get up attacks again by Zomba. Alright, but gets hit. The back air here. No edge guard though. Andromeda opting to play the ledge trap, and the trade here actually gives Zomba a really good opportunity to reset neutral. Nice down air to cover the platform. Forward air again. Well, let's see, this pirate ledge trap is so scary for Falco. He just doesn't have the options to swing out of the corner, but the side B, Zomba just not ready for a lot of these options. Turn around, grab at a shield though, and up throw into a read in the up air. Quick clean game from Zomba and really impressive Aegis, just flexing his fundamentals here. Really good stuff. Let's see what the stage pick is, just running it right back. Andromeda not wanting to try anything else here. And I mean, Zomba going back to Aegis. Andromeda going Joker, maybe, showing us a Joker in line with the Persona song pick. Maybe thinking all thinking character. No, decides to run it back with Falco. I like the choice. Run it with your main and Andromeda. The one time that they tried just you know waiting a little bit, firing a bit more laser, it did help. So we'll see if maybe that's the adaptation here. Maybe that's the play. Nice jab though. Zomba already has advantage, and that's one of the best parts about Mithra is the fact that by playing her, you already it's so easy to get advantage state. And also being such a fast faller, she can be a little weird to combo. And also, we haven't seen it come into play yet, but if Zomba catches Andromeda lacking and throwing out some bad options, Foresight, it's a really punish, potent punish option. Down to up air, up air, up air, though. Really good juggle situation. Waits out the air dodge, using these Pyra frame traps so effectively. Tries to swing at the side B, but gets hit again. So Andromeda gets a second least at life here. Jab at a shield by Zomba, though. Andromeda, despite having... Wow, down dash attack there. I was going to say, Andromeda, despite having racked up a decent amount of percent on Zomba, actually hasn't really gotten anything meaningful yet. It's all just been nickel and dime. And Mithra's frame data is just so good. She can swing on reaction to everything you do. And the dash attack is such a potent whiff on a shul. Kitchens a side B with retreating Mithra Nair this time. I love the Firebird above the stage from Andromeda, though. Let's see, and the nice back air called and the jump actually kills. But even if that doesn't kill, really easy edge guard there for Falco on an Aegis that far off the stage. Up throw, up air. But Forsyth's out of the combo. And now Zomba has advantage. Let's see, he tries to rip a hard read there, but nothing. Up till up air, up air. Nair. His percent starting to rack up for Andromeda, but tries to go for a greedy out of shield option and gets up smash for his troubles. All right, let's see, another up throw into a back air. 
but just, just Andromeda is like getting a little greedy just with all these grabs and just losing him advantage for free. And Zamba correctly DIing the up air this time. And this Mithra combo is only just starting. Or I guess you didn't even have to call it a combo, it's just advantage state. This shocking on the co on the platform is so good. And the jab to punish the up smash. This just feels so hard. It feels so hard for Andromeda. Like, the Falco combos just don't... Yeah. I was going to say, every time Andromeda just tried to get out of the corner, Zomba just there with a huge, powerful hitbox. And Sal really flexing to everybody, showing why he's favorite to win the tournament, why he's, you know, the top player. <sighs> Let's see... Next on stream is Beast and Cosmic. I don't know who Cosmic is, but Beast, obviously, resident Pokemon trainer player in Philly. Gonna take a sip of water. Beast has notably been, I mean, obviously Beast is really good and no disrespect, but he's gotten upset a few times recently. So we'll see if he can just, you know, Play nice and solid today, hold it down, and hopefully have no issues. Beast already walking in his tried and true PT, and we're gonna see Pokemon Trainer.